In that party, I just said, you know what? Let's go. We went to the ATM. I would judge and say, go and pay them. Let's go. The only fear that he have is not to fail his family. And that's what put him where he is now. The fear that he has that he don't want. He didn't want to fail his family. He didn't want to fail nobody. That's what put him in here. That's what put him in here. That's the fear. I don't want to fail nobody. He loved everybody more than himself. This guy worked seven days a week. I never see him in a party or anywhere to see him walking. And never to my love party party to Miloa. When he called Larry, um, Larry told him, Mojara rest, Lo, Mojabai, Lo, Mojabai, Lo, Mojabai, Lo, but come on, calm down. File whatever you want to file, let it go. But when you buy me, do it, Bonnie, with the way we go around things in life. But I don't want to fail my family. I don't want to fail. I love my brother. I love my sister. I love this. I love that. Larry told him, I don't want to. You are not going to fail anybody. That's what he told him in there. The man we're seeing in here today. The only thing that makes him to be in this place is of the love you have for everybody. If I told you, you go go, you could need your right. That's what put him in here. I will say the truth. Hi, so we're back. You see, life is too short. I'm a believer that if you work hard you play hard i believe that everything you do should be at a balance yes life is tough sometimes um things happen that we think we cannot handle it and there is nothing wrong with taking care of your extended family but you should put it at a balance you should put yourself first you can see in the video, this man has passed. His wife has been left a widow. His children fatherless. Uh, okay, the extended family he's been taking care of, they're going to move on. They're going to live their life. He's dead. They're not going to stop living. They're going to find other things to do. They're going to move on with their lives. He's only, they mourn him for a while. But he's going to be in the past. It's going to be a past memory. I have seen. Let me be specific. I've seen Nigerians here in abroad who buy huge houses. It's, there's nothing wrong with buying a huge house because you want to be comfortable. But their ass don't sit on the settee. Their backs don't lay on that big king size bed in the bedroom. Because they are working to pay the mortgage, to pay the bill, and as well as taking care of the extended family they have left back home, who don't understand that every penny is accounted for, that you pay tax. Everything is planned and well executed in abroad. It's not like Nigeria, where nobody is not accountable. Here you are accountable for every penny. Every dollar, every pounds, every euro, every euro that you spend, you're accountable for. You pay tax on them. You pay. You cannot go to the bank and take a loan and not pay back. You, you get paid. You pay. If you don't pay, you get arrested. This man is dead. He's seven foot on there. You can see his friend crying in tears, saying that the reason why this man is in this grave now is because of you all. Because of your fam because your, his extended family, because of his extended family. He sacrificed his life. He worked seven days a week to make sure every single one of you in this family, you're happy, you're well fed, and you're well taken care of. That he forgot to take care of himself. He said, according to him, he said in the Yoruba dialect, that he pleaded with him to leave job. Come home. Relax. He said, no, 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 no. He loved his family. He, he talked about this. He, talk, he spoke about that. He didn't want to let any extended family down. He didn't want to let them down. He didn't want to fail. And he said to him, his cheerful friend, he, said, he came all the way from America for his burial in Nigeria. He mentioned it. He said that he always told him 
No, you're not going to fail anybody. You're not going to let anybody down. He pleaded with him, Jo, Jo. But he's, he loved his family so much. He worked so hard. I'm using and I'm seizing this opportunity to please plead with all Africans. Wherever you are, out of the shores of Africa, I know you're there for economical reasons. I know you're there, you're working damn hard because you want to succeed in life. You don't want to go back to that place of poverty. I understand that. We've all experienced all that. But at the same time, the only thing that you have is your body. The only container that every single human being lives in is the body. You've got to take care of your body. I have seen a lady from one of the West African countries. You know, I don't want to name, name the West African country. She had three houses. She worked so hard. She came back home. She worked so hard. She had three houses, three mortgages to pay. She rented all the rooms in the flat, in the house out. If it's a four bedroom or a five bedroom house, she put one in ten at each. And she was sleeping. She converted the shed at the back of one of the houses she bought into a self-contained apartment. Self-contained apartment. She was living in the shed. A shed is like a small garage or a small storehouse. You build outside your house, but inside your compound. She who worked so hard, she who bought her property, could not even enjoy or live in that property. She was living in the shed. Do you know she died there? She died there. She never turned up for work. She wasn't answering her phone. And her working place and her colleague had to call the police. They came into the house. They searched the house. The tenant said, oh, she don't live. She lives in the shed. Open the shed, she was dead, dead. Heart attack. Because she worked so hard. Sometimes when you have done a hard job and you have worked all day, you come back home, you eat, you have your shower, you eat your food, you relax on your bed, you can hear how fast your heart is beating. When you hear how fast your heart is beating, you got to take care of it because it scares you. In as much as your body is delicate, yeah, is as well strong. And is in as much as your body is strong, you've got a strong body, it is so delicate. You've got to take care of your body. You've got to pamper your body. You've got to pamper yourself. You've got to take your rest when you deserve to take your rest. Sleep when you need to sleep. Eat the right food. Some people deprive themselves Putting a good food on their own table. They don't even put good food in their mouth. They're thinking about the money. I used to know of a lady who refused to buy plantain here in abroad. Because she converted the money to pounds to Naira. And she would say, oh, it's too much. That's not how we buy it in Nigeria. Do you know when she went back to Nigeria to live in her house? Thieves came in beat her up, raped her. You know, she didn't spend a week. She ran back here. The house she suffered to be, she couldn't even live there. And she never went back there ever since. Home is where the heart is. Heart is where your home is. And your home can be anywhere in the world. Take care of you. Take care of you. You can own so much mansions as you want. But the only container you got to live in is your body. Your body is the only container. It's the only case you got to live in. You cannot live anywhere else. Your body is the only container. Eat well. Drink water. See your doctor. Go for medical checkup. If your doctor says this is what you need, follow the advice of your doctor. Go for regular checkup. Eat well. Dress well. Bathe well. Rest. Sleep well. If you have toxic friends, get rid of them. You don't need them. Live your life. Live your life well. This man is seven foot under because of his extended family. Listen, 
you can't please everybody because the circle family that he tried to please are still living. He's seven feet under. He's not there to give them any money, but they'll find other means to make their own money. So what's up, guys? What do you think about this? Boss me. You can always send me emails. I will put my email in the video. You can click on that email link and leave a message. You can always leave stories. If you want to leave stories, you want to share. It's strictly confidential. We treat it and I treat it confidentially. We share the story. If you want it to be shared, we give you an advice. Support this channel. Your favorite babe, your favorite tea time speller, Kirsty Valentine. Until next video, I say love and peace. Bye-bye.